Hi, I'm with uh, Laser Line Manufacturing uh, out of Redmond, Oregon, and we're here today to talk to you about uh, direct reading grade rods, uh, also known as a true elevation rod and sometimes referred to as a linker rod. And what these rods do is they actually read the true or direct elevation on the rod itself uh, on a job site. So um, what it does is it eliminates all the math. You're not having to carry a calculator. You don't have to do any adding. There's no subtracting. It's just whatever you read on the rod face, that is your elevation. So let me uh, start with illustrating a little bit about how those ele uh, elevations come about. When a job is set up, typically, the job is going to be depicted uh, in true elevation with a starting point, which is called your benchmark. And that benchmark, for example, if you're in Miami, could be six feet. Uh, if you're in Boston, it could be 141 feet is your starting point. If you're in Denver, it could be 5,130 or anywhere in between. So for purposes of conversation today, we're going to say that our benchmark elevation on this job is 23,52,50. Well, the grade rod's obviously not 2,000 feet high, so what we're going to use is the last the whole number and the last two digits. So I've got a bench on this job of 2,352 feet and 50 hundreds. And so what we're really going to be looking at is 250 on our grade rod, which is going to represent 235250. Uh, so, for example, on this particular uh, illustration, if I have a footing elevation, it would, might be depicted as 235150. I might have a building finished floor at 235385. And in this case, I've got a catch basin of 234928. So, what's nice, what, what, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how the uh, direct reading rod works and, uh, and how simple it is, basically. So. Uh, uh, what I'll do is this is this is a direct reading rod right here. Um, we happen to make 16 different models. This is a 10 foot rod in feet, tenths, and hundreds. That's how many jobs are set up. Probably most jobs. Um, and uh, and that's uh, this. By the way, this true elevation is elevation above mean sea level. So uh, uh, you've probably the first thing you'll notice about this grade rod is that well the numbers are. They're not going the same way as a normal grade rod. You have four feet, five feet, six feet, seven feet. The other thing about it is, you'll notice, is this has a movable tape. And what that tape uh, does is, by moving it, we're going to be able to set our bench elevation into the rod. The other thing about this grade rod is that on the side of it, uh, this particular rod is used with a laser. Uh, so there is a rail on the side of this rod that allows you to set your detector in there and slide the uh, detector the full 10 foot travel of the rod without having to continually you know, uh, loosen the clamp, tighten the clamp, run it up and down on the rod. So what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to show you, we're going we're to take off from our bench elevation of 250 and the first thing we need to do is, um, let me turn this laser on, activate the laser and then we're going to take, um, we have a special bracket that slides inside of this uh, rail and uh, that your laser receiver mounts to. So I've already mounted the receiver to it. The receiver slides inside of the rail like this. And what's nice about it is it allows, as I said, uh, full, uh, full travel. So wherever you are, you can, you, know, you can be picking up grade down at the bottom of your rod, picking it up at the top, or you can be <laughs> elevated way up here you know, for example, if you're down in a hole. So let's get, let's get to work here in terms of setting this rod up to this bench elevation. So what I would do is I'd walk over, set my rod at on top of my bench right here, and then I'm going to run the receiver up and down until I pick up the steady tone. And that's going to tell me, that obviously, that I'm, uh, that I'm on grade. Yep, down. All right, so that's great right there. Actually, I want to come up just a little bit. So that's, I've locked onto the laser. Now I'm going to lock my receiver down so it doesn't move. Now, I'm going to take this tape. I'm going to loosen this bracket here. 
and I'm going to run this tape to 2.50. Nine, ten, one. There's two feet. Two forty. Two fifty is right there. And now I'll lock the tape in so that it's not going to move. Now, so I'm locked in at two fifty right now. I'm going to turn this receiver off because it's kind of loud. Or actually, I think what I'll do is just mute it. Okay, so I'm on grade there and I'm at 250. If I want so to pick up elevation at 2351.50, 50, which is say a footing elevation, I can run the receiver up to 150. And as I dig, 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 when, when the receiver goes off, I'll know that the bottom of my rod is at uh, this 2351.50. Same thing with a catch basin. 23.49.28. What I would do is run the uh, rod to 9, 28, there's 9, uh, 25, 28 right there. So as I dig, dig down, 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 when I pick up the steady tone and the bottom of my rod is at that point, I'm at that elevation. So again, there's no figuring, there's no there's no math, you're not carrying a calculator with you, you know, you're not dealing with paper and a pencil, and, you know, miscalculations. What it does is it virtually eliminates miscalculations caused by uh, mathematical error. Uh, so the rod is, uh, it's made out of uh, um, heavy-duty aluminum. It is uh, uh, anodized, it's a tempered material. These are very, very tough. They take a lot of abuse, and yet they're user, very user-friendly. So. Uh, that is uh, that's a direct reading rod. That's a direct reading slash true elevation linker rod, and that's how you use it. Thank you.